Are you ready to learn about something fun? Well, I sure hope so because I have something really cool to show you. In fact, I have someone to introduce you to. But before we do that, let's kind of talk about what we did yesterday. So, yesterday we looked at greater than and less than. Greater than is the one with more. So on this one, we have nine and four, and I circled the nine because nine is greater than. Now let's look at less than. We have six and eight. I circled the six because six is less than eight. So this is a really important thing we need to know through kindergarten and into first grade and far, far beyond. But there's a better way to show it. So, in order to show you the better way, I have to introduce you to a friend. But I warn you, this friend, he likes to eat. And he's hungry all the time. And he'll always eat the biggest thing you have. So, here is my friend. Say hello to Elmo. Elmo is hungry, so we just call him Hungry Elmo. Elmo needs to eat numbers so his tummy is full. Elmo does his best at school when his tummy is full, just like you. So that's why we always eat a good breakfast and we eat our lunch at school. All right, so Elmo is hungry and he needs numbers. Now, a second ago, I told you that Elmo, he always wants the biggest of everything. He wants the most. So he always wants to eat the bigger number. Take a look at this. Elmo wants the biggest portion. He wants the biggest. So he's going to eat that bigger number. We have a five right here and we have a three right here. Elmo always eats the bigger number. So this is my little friend Elmo and here he is. He's going towards the five. He's going to eat that five. Jump, jump, jump. He's chomping that five because Elmo always eats the bigger number. Now this is a symbol that is called greater than. But for today we're just going to look at Elmo. Elmo eats the bigger number. So Elmo goes chomp, chomp, chomp on the bigger number and Elmo always wants to eat that number that has more. So Elmo eats the bigger number. Let's look at a few examples. So I'm gonna get my little handy dandy paper I made. Okay, these are Elmo's meals. He has to choose which one is he going to eat? So for his first meal, we have a 10 and a two. Elmo always wants to eat the bigger number. Which one's bigger, 10 or two? Well, if you said 10, you're correct. We need to make sure that Elmo is eating the bigger number. So I have my little handy dandy sticker of Elmo and he's gonna go Chomp, chomp, chomp on that bigger number. Elmo is going to eat the 10 because 10 is bigger or greater than two. All right, let's look at our next one. Elmo can choose between an eight and a nine. Elmo always eats the bigger number. So which one is Elmo going to eat? you think? Is he going to eat eight or is he going to eat nine? He always eats the bigger number. Well, if you said nine, you are correct. Nine is bigger than eight. Eight is less than nine. So we want our to go right 
here. We want him to be eating that nine. Chomp, chomp, chomp. He eats the bigger number. We can say eight is less than nine. Elmo wants to eat the nine because nine is the bigger number. All right. Our next numbers are four and one. Elmo always wants to eat the bigger number. Which number is Elmo going to eat? Is Elmo going to eat the four? Or is Elmo going to eat the one? What do you think? Well, if you said Elmo's going to eat the four, you are correct. Four is a bigger number than one. Four is greater than one. Four is greater than one, so Elmo always eats that bigger number. So we can say 10 is greater than two because Elmo is facing the 10. Because Elmo is facing the nine in this one, we always say the first number first. We say eight is less than nine and four is greater than one. For this lesson, all you need to be able to do is pick out the bigger number and know that Elmo always eats the bigger number. So if you don't get that greater than, less than stuff, that's okay. I just want you to know that this is Elmo. Elmo's hungry and Elmo always, always, always eats the bigger number. All right, well, I am so glad you got to meet my friend Elmo today. And I'm so glad we got to work on greater than and less than. And you guys are rock stars. Digital high fives.